back. This is update uh, 13, uh, week 13, I believe. Um, I just got back from a, um, a full day's match, the Washington State 2017 State Championship. Uh, just day one, uh, tomorrow's day two, so uh, didn't have a lot of time to work on the, the game. I did, however, manage to put uh, a stage built by Brand Pace called Tight Quarters. So let's take a look at this. So this is tight quarters. It's a long course. I believe, let's say, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven poppers. Um, and Brand is pretty good at uh, designing stages. I love all the stages that uh, he publishes on uh, on SketchUp and then uh, on YouTube as well. So the start position is standing on axis and relax the sides. Uh, so we're gonna stand here as you can see there is uh, two paper one popper one paper over here Which you can also see from this side So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here and draw and get that headshot popper that that paper All those poppers that paper that popper here and then reload into This two paper popper this two paper popper to finish the stage. Let's give it a go Shouldn't carry optics today with a clock make ready uh, incidentally, I also Make adjusted ready. the, the Glock's um, uh, sight. Some people were complaining that sight was wrong. So I adjusted it. Uh, so it should shoot more true now. Are you ready? Uh huh. Stand by. Terrible shots. If you're finished, unload. If clear, hammer down and holster. Range is clear. Uh, take a look. Two Alpha, Alpha Charlie, Alpha Charlie. Not bad, actually. Two Bravo. Whoa, close. Yeah, so this is Tight Quarters. Uh, pretty cool stage. Short and sweet. And I uh, hope you guys like this. So let's go back to the main menu and talk about some other things that are made. Okay. So the other thing that I've uh, fixed apart from, uh, oh. So the other thing I've improved is the stage designer. Let's go take a look. So here you go. This is a stage designer, right? Uh, you guys seen this? Um, so I got a. I added some new paper targets, like the hardcover. Um, Let's see, I've added two more narrow walls uh, as well. So you can build white walls and narrow walls and put side by side. So you can adjust them as you see fit. Uh, and I've also um, added one new, two new features. Uh, one is called Aerial View. So for instance, if you load one of your stages here like this, and if you want to have a bird's eye view, you can fire it once and you see that on the view is from about I don't know, 20 feet up in the air. And if you do it again, it's from like 50 feet up in the air. Uh, you, can, you can still move around, right? You can still travel around, teleport like this to take a look at the stages. And then uh, once you're done, you can come back down. So it toggles between f flat on the ground, about 20 feet and about 50 feet. Yeah? Somebody was asking for this feature the other day. Uh, it's ability to load an image up into the game so that you can use it as a reference when you design a stage. So uh, in the menu, I have uh, the image button. You can go click here and you load up JPEG files there in the um, C drive stage diagrams folder. So in order to, to uh, have the files appear in this list, you take whatever JPEG files you want, create a folder in C drive, uh, call stage diagrams one word and you dump the JPEG files and read it from that folder and then you can uh, load them up in the game like this so you can you know look at the different style and designs so let's say if you want to look at this design and you want to replicate this design you can very quickly just go and then go yeah let's put one over here one over there and then one over here and then one over there right and then do uh, partial like this and then a headshot Maybe turn it around a little bit. And then hitch over there, turn it around a little bit like that. 
And then you have fault lines and a wall. So let's put the fault lines. And let's put the walls first, actually. Um, so I have a port. I don't have a long port, so I just use a short port here. And then use small short ports that I added recently to the side. Yeah. And then you can uh, build your fault lines. Like that. Like that. And then kind of like that. I guess so yeah you have your target oh barrels let's go over here or you can use the new uh, arrow feature and fly up a little bit look for the barrels and then you can put the barrels here you can put the barrels there yeah so there you go um i think it looks fine let's take a look so this is the stage design oh i forgot the um texas star So there you go, star, and then two targets over there, and then I guess you have to start to the side to hit the rest, so you can take everything from the side, like that. Ah, pretty cool um, stage, I guess. Huh? So based on that, if you don't want it, you can just move it aside. If you want to load some other image, you can just select the image here and load it up. So that's a cool feature right there. So the other feature implemented is uh, changing height. So somebody has asked how they could, uh, you know, like, uh, load the target, but they're all flat on the surface and a fixed height. They want to bring it lower, for instance, or maybe higher. So you can you can uh, switch the mode if you press the menu button. You switch to a different rotate mode, right? This is the, the rotate this way mode, and you can also go up and down now. So if you go up and down, you can go down or up. So it raises the height, and then you can, you know, make it tilt like this, raise the height a little bit. Oops. Yeah, like that. You can make targets like that if you want. So that's a pretty cool feature now. Uh, I, it's a little bit buggy, I think. I've noticed some errors with it, but I hope to track it down and fix it. But uh, here you go. You guys can play around with it. Uh, so uh, that's it for the um, stage designer. Um, I'm still working on the activation. A way to activate a, let's say, you drop a popper here. Oops, let's bring it back up. Uh, and then you want to activate maybe a uh, swinger. I'm working on one where you can actually click on this and then assign it to this and you draw a line across. So do you know that the popper activates the swinger? So hopefully that will be coming next week. Let's get back to the main menu. So there you go, new stage, few changes here and there, a few bug fixes and some designer enhancements. So hopefully uh, I'll do more next week uh, and you'll be able to see more updates. Uh, so till then, see ya!